For it TV, the world is thinking. I suppose I could preface what I want to talk about today by saying that we live in interesting times. And one of the best ways to describe this is to recount something that happened about six years ago. The second largest school district in the state of Georgia, the Cobb County School District, bought new biology textbooks for each of the 17 high schools in Cobb County, thousands of books. And they picked the book that they thought would be the best in terms of alignment with Georgia's education standards, up to the national standards, accessible to all their students, and so forth. But a lot of people in the community looked through the book and discovered this book has got a lot of evolution in it. It's got a whole section on evolution. They don't like that very much, and they petitioned the school board to do something about it. Well, what the school board did was to put a warning label inside each of the books, sort of like the cigarette package label, basically saying evolution's just a theory, not a fact, don't take it too seriously. And as good public-spirited citizens, I figure you deserve to know which book was it that was so dangerous that it required a warning label. And <laughs> lo and behold, that's right, it was our book. And this is, I think I'm, yeah, okay, I think I'm working up here. Um, this is the warning label. And it says this textbook has material on evolution. Evolution is a theory, not a fact, regarding the origin of living things. This material should be approached with an open mind, studied carefully and critically considered. Now, I remember when this happened, a reporter from the Journal Constitution in Atlanta called me up and said, Dr. Miller, aren't you outraged by the sticker that they've just put in your book? And I thought about that, because I talked to reporters before, and I've never had a reporter put that word in my mouth that way, and I thought, I wonder what she's doing. And then I thought, you know what, I think she's trolling for a quote. She wants me to say something so she can write an article with a headline that says, author in sense, or, some, or better yet, northern author, upset about this. <laughs> or... so, so I decided I wouldn't give her the satisfaction. And instead I said, no, I love the stickers. She said, you do? I said, I think the stickers are great. They just don't go far enough. And she said, what do you mean by that? And I said, well, the textbook has material on evolution. Yeah, the back cover says Unit 5 Evolution. Kids don't need a warning sticker to see that. Then it says evolution is a theory. She says, is evolution a theory? I said, chapter 15 of this book is entitled Darwin's Theory of Evolution. Of course it's a theory. But when you say it's a theory, not a fact, you make it sound like theories and facts are opposite things. They're not. And I said, let me put it this way. Let's suppose a young person went to the University of Georgia to study physics. They have a very good physics department. One of the subjects they'd have to study is called atomic theory. Now, why do we call that atomic theory? Do we call it that because, you know, we're not really sure about atoms? Maybe they exist, maybe they don't. And maybe someday, if we get more evidence, we can change the name of the subject to atomic facts? Well, the answer is, of course not. We call it atomic theory because what it does is it explains hundreds of thousands of observational and experimental facts about the nature of matter. And that's what theories do. Theories in science don't become facts. Theories in science explain facts. Theories are actually a higher level of understanding, and evolutionary theory explains hundreds of thousands of facts and observations about the nature of living things. That's why we call it a theory. But I said the sentence that really bugs me, it's the third one. She said, are you against having an open mind? And my answer was, no, of course not, but read that like a 14-year-old. And you know what that says to a 14-year-old? It says we are certain of every single topic in this book except for one, and that's evolution. Be skeptical of that. And she says, so you object to that as an evolutionist? I said, no, I object to that as a cell biologist. Because what that tells students is that everything in my field, cell biology, is all figured out. You don't need an open mind to study cell biology. And you don't need critical analysis to study biochemistry, because we understand all that stuff. I object to that because it implies a false sense of certainty about everything else in science, in addition to a false sense of uncertainty about it. I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. No charge to Cobb County, I'll rewrite the sticker. And, and the way that I would rewrite it is right here. This textbook has material on science. Science is built around theories which are strongly supported by factual evidence. Everything in science should be approached with an open mind, studied carefully, and critically considered. And, uh, Well, I appreciate your sentiments, but the bad news is the school board didn't feel that way. 
They left the stickers on. They, went, they got sued. They went to court. I actually testified in this trial, and they lost, and the stickers came out.